In the days of the ancient Greek and Roman civilizations, the gladiators would do battle in various tests of physical prowess and mental wit. Although these days are long gone, on the campus of Austin Peay State University, the students can still be seen in the battle of the ages. Who will bring home the gold? Who will win the P-Olympics? Oh, that's right, friends, it's the P-Olympics with TV Time Trivia. What's that smell? Pants on fire and the P versus Shazam. With me, Brandon Crossland, also Mason Devers, DJ Juan Romero, and a panel of two of your favorite Austin P students, Welcome to the show, everyone. Now it's time to meet our two lucky contestants that get to be on the trivia portion of the Olympics. Today's topic for our trivia segment will be if you're a couch potato. That's right, it's TV time. Now first, let's get a look at our contestants. So if you would, we'll start over here. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Haley Smith. I am a junior here at Austin Peay State University. I'm broadcasting and communications with a broadcast media and double minoring in event planning and PR. All right, Haley, welcome to the show. A little bit about yourself, sir. All right, my name is Denzel. I'm in my third year here at Austin P. My major is broadcast media, and that's about all. Welcome to the show, Denzel. Now we've introduced ourselves. Here are the rules. I will give you a question to a show, whether it's a sitcom or your favorite cartoons. Now, whoever buzzes in the correct answer will get 100 points for this round. If neither of you guessed the correct answer, then I guess you're all losers. Let's get started. Is everyone ready? Oh yeah, we're ready. Let's go pee. <laughs> all right, first question. Get ready. Which cast member of the TV sitcom Friends is the oldest in real life? Haley. Lisa Kudrow. That is correct. 100 points for Haley. Congratulations. Now time for the next question. Question number two, what sort of business did George Jefferson own on the TV show, The Jefferson? Denzel. Dry cleaners. That would be correct. Now for our last and final question of round one, what was the crude, rude, popular cartoon in the 90s where that, that involved two guys that were vulgar and had weird names? That's a draw, but I'm gonna have to give it to Haley. Uh, Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead is correct. And the winner of the trivia portion of the P-Olympics will be Haley. Congratulations, Haley. <laughs> Thank you all for competing in the trivia portion of the Olympics. When we come back, stay tuned. We'll have another round of the P-Olympics. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the show. How well do you trust your nose? Can you tell the difference between a stinky gym sock and blue cheese? Does a rose smell just as sweet when blindfolded? Is it a bowl of chocolate pudding or a bad case of diarrhea? Welcome to the segment of our show called What's That Smell? It's round two, ladies and gentlemen. In this segment of our show, two contestants are asked to identify the smells of the mystery objects placed under their noses. Each contestant will be blindfolded and given a white board. My assistant here will then place various items under contestants' noses, giving them a good whiff of its smell. And contestants may also feel the item if they choose to do so at their own risk, of course. I will tell you to take off your blindfold and write down what you think the object was. Now be careful not to let the person next to you see what you wrote. If a contestant can identify and write the correct item on their board, you'll gain 100 points. This is a very important round if you're looking to win the whole thing. After three rounds, we will find out who has the better nose or who has the weaker stomach. Get that bucket ready. Does everyone understand how this game works? Yep. We're all good? Yep. All right, let's go pee. Do we have a paramedic in the house? Just in case. <laughs> Just making sure. Let's get started now. <laughs> Contestants, would you now please place your blindfolds on? Securely over the eyes. There we go. Can I get my assistant to make sure nobody's peeking? Mr. DJ. Alrighty, here is item number one. Would you please choose which one? Now, DJ gets to choose which one he wants to give these guys. Uh, let's take that out of the bag. Let's, uh, yeah, we, wa we want them to really smell this one, this first item here. All right, take a look here. Give a good smell, Mr. Denzel. All right, now over to Haley. Do you smell that? Indeed she does, all right. <laughs> 
It's time to remove your blindfolds and write down what you think that first item was. All right. Denzel, what did you write down? He says dirty sock. <laughs> Let's see what Haley has. Pea soaked sock. <laughs> well, that's a very detailed answer, but you know, you're both correct. It is a sweaty gym sock, so you both get that 100 points. But my, uh, so let's go ahead and erase those really quick and get those blindfolds back on, and we'll get the second item. All right, if you got the next item ready, go ahead and get it to Denzel. Good whiff of that. He smells nothing, it seems like. Let's pass that over to Haley. Haley, do you smell that? <laughs> I'm hearing lots of laughs from the back here. <clears throat> they must be pretty good. All right. Go ahead and write down what you think that is as you take your blindfolds off. Thank you, good assistant. All right. All right, Denzel, go ahead and put up yours. He has no idea. <laughs> A big old question mark for Mr. Denzel. All right, Haley, what is your answer? Pool chemicals. That is correct. 100 points for Miss Haley. All right, time for our final third item. 100 points will be awarded to whoever can guess this item. Assistant, if you please. Take a look at this item, studio audience, and folks at home. Denzel, you got that smell? All right, pass it over to Haley. Wonderful. All right. If we think we've got that, go ahead and take the blindfolds off and write down your answer. Looking good, looking good. No peeking. You guys are good students. Came to the right school. Let's see what Denzel has. Laundry detergent. That is correct for 100 points. And Haley has fabric refresher or Febreze. <laughs> you know, it's close. I'm gonna have to say no cigar. No points there for you. <laughs> all right, now that we've got all three items, that's the end of our round. And it looks like the, the points are tied 200, 200 for that round. So uh, you both come out with a win there. When we come back, we'll have the next round three of the P-Olympics after this brief commercial break. Stay with us. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. It's time for round three of the P-Olympics. Just to see where we are so far, let's go ahead and check on those scores. Haley over here has 200 points, and so does Denzel. 200 points. Let's see who can win this thing in the end as we go into the third round called Pants on Fire. Now, what's going to happen here is we're going to bring out three people and they will introduce themselves to us. If you would please, make your way to the stage. Here they are, three lovely models, and they all claim to have the same occupation. You're gonna tell which one is the actual. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a tennis player. I am a tennis player. I play tennis also. But only one of these <laughs> fellas here is the real tennis player. All right, thank you for telling us about yourself. Now let's find out which one of you isn't a liar. Liar, pants on fire. All righty. Okay, contestants, you're going to get three questions to ask each one of these tennis players that you choose. Choose your questions wisely, because, though, because at the end, you must decide which one of these three gentlemen you believe is the real tennis player. Are we ready? Let's yeah. go, P. All right. Contestant. All right, Haley. We picked you in a random drawing, and uh, you're going to get the first shot at the question for these fine gentlemen. So go ahead and pick which one you want to ask. I'm going to ask tennis player number three here. What would you say is was your hardest match? Um, in high school, um, I had to play in the regional championship, so I would have to say that was probably my hardest match. All right, that was a uh, very nice answer. Let's uh, give Denzel a chance to uh, choose any of these. Uh, tennis player number two. All right, fire away. 
Who is related to Serena Williams? I would have to say Venus Williams. Hey, 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 that's a very good answer and a good question as well. Let's give Haley her second question. Tennis player number one, what is your favorite racket to use? Can you, can you clarify the question for me? Like what type? Like the brand name? The brand? Yeah. Hmm, I'd have to say Prince. I don't even know that, that racket brand to be honest. <laughs> So you know I'm not the tennis player. Okay, uh, give you your second question. Uh, tennis player number three. Of the two sisters, Venus and Serena, which one is the oldest? That would be Venus. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> All right, your final question. Be careful, this is your last one, so make it count. <laughs> which, which one are you gonna ask? Tennis player number two. Okay. Think of something, or what? you will be eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Where was your favorite location to play? Well, actually, I played at Wimbledon in London, England. Whoa. Something tells me that nice. may not be the truth, but okay, we'll run with it. All right, Denzel, yeah. your final question. Let's see what you got. And uh, tennis player number one. How many points have to be scored to win a match? A hundred. A hundred what, tennis player number one, is the real question. <laughs> all right. Now that we've got all <coughs> of the questions out of the way, now you two will get the chance to guess which one you think is the real tennis player. So, Haley, which one of these three guys you think is the real tennis player based on the questions that have been asked? going to have to go with uh, tennis player number three. Tennis player answer, number yeah. three is her final answer. Very interesting. All right, Denzel. What do you think about this one? Well, I'm going with the, uh, the Wimbledon playing one and tennis player number two. What's your reasoning behind this? Uh, I don't know. You have, no, you have no, no, uh, no, nothing to back this up? Nope, no claim. Well, okay. Good luck to you both. Uh, let's see. Uh, would the real tennis player please raise your hand? All right, it's tennis player number three. Congratulations, Haley. How did you know? It's just so amazing. Uh, just went with my gut. Went with your gut. That's a really great answer. All right. Don't, don't go anywhere. When we come back, oh, well, that means that Haley gets the 100 points for this round. When we come back, which well, gets her up to 300 points. So we're ending into the final round. Denzel has a chance to come back. Or Haley will take the win. We'll see what happens in this final round of the P-Olympics. Don't go anywhere, folks. Welcome back. Today on this segment of the P versus Shazam, two contestants are going to battle it out to see who can identify hit songs the quickest. But the tricky part is it'll be covers of the songs, not the actual songs. One will be left at the end, and we'll see who's better, humans or one of the greatest musical minds ever. Shazam. Throwing down the beats today, let's give it up for the one, the only, DJ Juan. What up, DJ Juan? Uh, you know what I'm saying, doing the beats. How you feeling today? How you feeling? We're feeling good, bro. All right, well, I'm excited. Uh, Got the we're going to have... Table. Well, good, good. Are you Contestants, are you guys ready to get started? Yes. Yep. All righty. Well, let me tell you how it's gonna work. On my cue, DJ Juan will play a huge hit song. The first one to guess the right answer gets the points. For the first time, each song will be worth 1,000 points. Are you guys ready to play? Yes. Yes. All right, let's get this started. Today's category will be 2010s. DJ Juan, hit it. Waka, waka. <laughs> All right, contestants, write down what you think the answer is. We have no idea. All right, Haley, what do you think the song is? It is the incorrect answer of lighters. I got these fresh eyes. And Denzel, what do you think the song is? We got a question mark here. That song 
<laughs> was congratulations originally sang by but Post, Post Malone. Malone featuring Quavo. Let's go, Migos. <laughs> That's uh, right, DJ Juan. Yeah, uh. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be our last song for this segment, and that means that it's time for the fast track. Fast track means fast points, so it's going to be double the points this time. So 2,000 points are on the line here to win the game. You ready, Juan? Hit me. All right, contestants, write down your answers. First, we're going to go over to Haley. Haley, what do you think that hit song was? It's Versace on the floor. She's got Versace <laughs> on the floor. Thank you. All right, Denzel, what yeah. do you got? Three question marks. <laughs> Not just one this time, but three. <laughs> Well, Haley is going to be correct. That was Versace on the Floor by Bruno Mars. But so, Haley, that means you have 2,000 points added on to your total. And now yeah. we are going to throw it back to our game host, Brandon, to see who's going to take home the gold today. Thank you so much, Mason. Oh, I'm having some troubles with my mic here. All right. The games have been played. The gladiators have gave it their all. But alas, only one can be crowned to win the gold. Haley, you are worthy. The winner of the P Olympics. You've been bestowed a medal of gold. Thank you. Congratulations. Join us next time for a new episode to see who will go home with the gold. Thank you.